everybody what's going on today welcome to the channel i'm going to do a debut video here with 98 overall rod carew uh so we'll take a look at the card here in just a second you guys uh, do me a favor as always make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel subscribe 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 and let's go take a look at the card uh, I do have him playing at his primary position of second base for this game, and the reasoning behind what I'm uh, what I'm doing with this card and the and why I have it is I sold my Cobb card, and uh, I had enough stubs to be able to uh, to buy Rod Carew, so I did uh, because I want to have somebody who could play uh, backup at first base in case Lou Gehry gets on late in games and I need somebody to pinch run for him, and then uh, going forward Carew will be on the bench. And Alomar will replace him. But let's take a look at the card real quick. Awesome contact, man. 125, 119 on the contact. He's got enough power to be able to hit home runs, too, at 65, 61. 123 vision, 125 clutch, uh, 102 on the plate discipline. If you guys aren't aware, though, plate discipline actually controls your ability to be able to check swing with hitters. Uh, so that's what it does. He can bunt, 96 bunt, uh, 76 drag bunt. Uh, his fielding's pretty decent. We're going to have him at second base for this game worries me just a little bit with that fielding uh but the 91 speed and everything should be pretty good so i honestly think he'll be a much better first baseman than he will be a second baseman for me um and that's why i picked him up for that that exact position so let's go ahead and get to uh get to a rank seasons game here we are on the road to a thousand points i'm back up to 942 so trying to make something happen here and advance a little further along all right looks like we've got an opponent here we're playing against the miami supernatural and oh, another matchup with kershaw versus kershaw uh, he does have uh, Tony Gwynn, Roberto Alomar, Hornsby. He's got Lou Gehrig batting cleanup just like I do. He has his uh, creative player as a gold card uh, batting fifth. George Brett, Gary Carter, Kershaw batting eighth, which I never understand why anybody puts their pitcher batting eighth. No, I don't want to friendly quit here. Sorry about that. Is his, uh, look at his third baseman playing back there. Did you guys see that? Let's try to drop a drag bunt down. Might as well try if he's going to play back with the third baseman. <laughs> I'll be able to get one down here eventually in the game. All right, come on, Ichiro. Oh, he got me on that curveball. I hate that damn curveball. 2-2 <laughs> two -two count here to Hornsby. Oh, he got me chasing that high sinker. All right, Rod Carew, first at bat here with him. Let's see if we can get something done with him. Not if I'm going to be that late on that pitch. Got a piece of that one. All right, come on, Rod. Oh, he got me swinging on that changeup. Man, all right. Not a good first at bat there for Rod Carew, by all means. Facing Tony Gwynn here. Looks like he's got Fat Yoshi as his uh, as his emblem on his jerseys. Like obese Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. There we go. We got the fly out there to Tony Gwynn for one out. Let's go with this low outside change up here. Hopefully to Alomar. Oh, it's a good pitch. I don't think we're going to catch it, though. Wow. Yeah, no. Willie Mays stopped apparently running. I I don't know why. Willie probably would have actually caught that. There we go. We got him swinging at the curve there on the second pitch. Popped it out to Ichiro in left field. I'll take that. Let's go with the outside changeup, or I mean the slider. Oh my gosh, no, you better throw him out. Rod Carew, he's going to make me nervous over there, man, at uh, at second base this game. That's the first ball hit to him, and he just pulled it. A little dinky grounder. There we go. Lou Gehrig, first pitch swing and base hit down the line. I will take that all day. I tell you what. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. I know this is crazy, but since he has a lefty on the mound, I'm going to take Lou Gehrig out. I'm going to put Alomar in. 
And uh, we're going to move Carew to first base and let Alomar go ahead and play at, uh, at second the rest of the game. Go ahead and steal second base here with Alomar. Nice. Let's go, Willie. I cannot believe that, man. Like, he goes to swing the bat like a couple seconds after I actually go to swing. Go ahead and try to take third here. Should have it easily. Oh my gosh, no, he, he just stopped. Did you guys see that? He literally stopped while he's running to third. There we go, we'll make it to third anyway on that. I don't know what the heck happened. I hate when that does that. It is awfully crazy sometimes. We'll drop the bunt down and go ahead and get the run in. I'll take it, man. I'll take this quick RBI with George Brett batting. Oh, I was almost too frustrated to swing, so I just figured I'll go ahead and get the run in however I can. I don't know why that happens, man. You'll be running the bases sometimes and going for a steal, and it's like they slip and fall halfway between first and second or second and third. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Something that definitely needs fixed, though, going forward to next year's game, in my opinion. It worked out for me, luckily, that time, but it was crazy. All right. All right, so we've got the one nothing lead. we got Alomar, who's at first base right now. We better change that up because that's not going to work out real well. We'll swap these two here in positions. All right, I feel a little bit more comfortable about that. All right, let's go with this, uh, let's go with this change up low and inside. Oh, got him to go around barely on it, man. That's uh, he, he got screwed on that one. It's one of those ones that he didn't actually go around on, but I got the call, so I'll take it. We'll bring the fastball up high and tight again. Got him to pop it up there to each row out in left field. I will take that. Perfect. Oh, he hit a pop fly. I think Tony Gwynn will be able to get to this ball. Nice. All right, so we got the nice shutdown inning after putting up that one run there in the top of the second. That'll work. We got Tony Gwynn leading off here in the third. Oh, lines it over to the shortstop. Man, I thought that might get up in the air a little bit higher than it did. Unfortunately, it did not. Left us in kind of a bind there. Got the pitcher batting here. Look at Kershaw with the drive out there into the gap for a single. Nice, man. I'll take it. First pitch swinging with the pitcher. Nice little line drive into left center field. Ichiro. Oh, man. I thought I timed that up better. It probably should have been a better hit, but just didn't go anywhere. All right, Hornsby. Hornsby. Oh, my gosh. This better get out. Oh, how is that ball not going to get out of here? I timed that up perfect. Felt like I hit it right on the screws, man, but it was just a pop-up. It had no exit velocity to it. All right. We get Kershaw to line out. Well, it's a ground ball, I guess, to Hornsby. All right, throws it over to Carew at first and gets the out. I'll take it. I'm sure glad since I took uh, since I took Lou Gehrig out of the game that he was able to get the uh, that run in with Alomar running. Oh, Kenny Lofton's going to get a single with one out. All right, well, at least it's not no outs. We do have a lot of speed on the bases now for him, so that's uh, a little bit worrisome. I apologize, everybody. I've spent the last several minutes there trying to pick off Kenny Lofton because the guy just kept stay taking a step at first base, and then on the first pitch, I actually throw to Tony Gwynn. He lines out, and I get the double play. So that worked out quite well. Now, here we go. Rod Carew leading off the inning with a base hit into left field. Take that. I bet you he throws over to first base, though. I'm not going to take the step because I don't do that from first base. 
No, he didn't. I'm shocked he didn't try. It's all right. Wow. That's horrible. See, there we go. What? He fell down! <laughs> Did you guys see that? It's like he slips and falls. My player does and falls down between first and second base. They, they've got to put a stop to this, man. That is ridiculous. Like, uh, and then I pop out. I had the base stolen, too, like, so easily. Let's come back with the fastball inside here to Alomar. Pops it up to Gwynn out in right field. Perfect. That's great that I got a hit last inning with Rod Carew, but I cannot believe... Falls down, steal in second. You guys got to let me know. Have you all seen that happen when you're stealing bases as well? Where the runner just, like, pauses and collapses? Because it's, it's really like a glitch. We got Lou Gehrig up here. Got to be a little bit careful pitching to him. All right, 0-2 count. We're throwing this low and wider again to Gehrig. Got him chasing for the final out. Nice. All right, George, see if you can get a base hit here, buddy. All right, 2-2 two -two count here to George. See if we can get a base hit here to lead off the inning. Man, nope. He got me on that high sinker again. Up at my eyes and just got me chasing it. Oh, Pudge, really? Pudge hits a dink grounder back to the pitcher on the first pitch. Ugh. All right. With the multiple lefties there at batting third and fourth with Gehrig and Carew to start off the game. That's going to drop for a hit by Tony Gwynn. Nice. All right. All right, so we got the pitcher batting here. I'm actually going to... I'm going to do it. I'm totally doing it. I'm actually going to bring in Ricky Henderson to bat. We're going to steal second. Hopefully, if he doesn't fall down. <laughs> Got him in scoring position. Now, if a base it'll score him, I'm going to bring in the knuckleballer next inning. No matter what. Uh, that might drop. I don't know. No. Alomar gets to it. Somehow, he runs all the way from almost second base to the entire right field line. And makes that play. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and bring in the knuckler. Let's throw him a high one. See what happens. There we go. Ground ball right back to Ferreira Bend. For the first out. I'm telling you, man. He's my most clutch pitcher in the bullpen. There we go. He timed that one up pretty well with George Brett, but right to Willie Mays in center field. So I'll take it. I'm going to need to keep him a little bit lower, it looks like, the, the knuckleballs. Let's go with this one that comes a little bit inside. Oh, did he go? He did. All right, man. We got through the inning right there with Ferrer Bend. I'll take it. Man, he's not going to get that. That was the curve, but I, I will not find it, so that's not going to work. All right, we got Rod Carew batting again here with two outs. See if he can get another base hit. I always liked his swing in the game. I do pretty well with his other cards that I've used, so. Oh, out in front of that curve again. He's probably going to come in with the fastball or the sinker here on this next pitch. Get through. Oh, that's actually going to end up being a base hit. Second base hit of the game for Rod Carew. We'll go on this pitch. That's not going to work out well. Unless Kershaw somehow messes it up, but he didn't. All right. Well, one, two, uh, three, four inning, I guess. Carew did get the base hit. That's his second hit in the game. So not a bad showing for him so far. I thought it was worth a try. Strike three to Kershaw. He swung in the dirt. We'll throw him out there. 
Kershaw took off like a bolt of lightning out of the batter's box there. I'm actually going to uh, to play the third base cover drag here on the bunt just in case. There we go. Ground ball to Hornsby. Make the play. All right. That's what I'm talking about. So we're through the sixth inning, going on to the top of the seventh here. Got Willie Mays leading off. Full count here to Willie Mays. There we go. Come on, Willie. Ball four. Walked Willie Mays to lead off the inning. That'll work out pretty good. We're going to actually steal here on the first pitch. Hopefully we can take the base and not fall down. Nice. <laughs> All right, so he took second base pretty easily. George Brett's going to get this base hit score run here. He'll be able to come in easily. Two to nothing. That a baby. Work the walk and then steal the base and score on the next pitch on a base hit. I'm actually going to take George Brett out. I'm going to put in Ozzy Smith. All right, we got the full count to Pudge. I just keep fouling pitches off. So he's up to 80 pitches now in the seventh. Oh, please drop ball. <laughs> oh, it almost did, man. Thought it was going to for a second there. Just died at the last second. Come on, Tony. Tony Gwynn rips one to right field. Tell me that's going to get out of here. Did he catch it? He caught it. Wait. What? Is... Oh, he stopped at first base. I was like, oh, man, I didn't know what happened there. It was it was kind of weird at the end. I thought that ball was going to get out. Nice catch, man. Hey, I got to give you credit where credit's due. Why does it say pitches this inning zero? So strange. The game is doing some strange things at the moment. There we go. We got a first pitch pop up there to Rod Carew. Keep Alomar's speed off the bases. We got Hornsby up here. All right, he swung really, really late on that one? I don't know. I couldn't even tell. With the knuckleball, sometimes you can't quite tell. I guess he was late since he hit it over to second base. Uh, he had good timing, apparently. All right, got to be a little bit careful here pitching to Gehrig, even with the knuckleball. Take this high ball here to Lou. Got him to ground out to Hornsby at third. Nice. All right, through the seventh inning. I'll take that. Got the two to nothing lead. Held him to two hits. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to? No. You know what? I'm actually going to go to the bench. I think I am. Yep. I'm going to go to the bench and make sure I got my bullpen adjusted here pretty good. Lee Smith can go ahead and pitch the. Uh, yeah, Lee Smith can pitch the eighth inning. We're going to have Lofton go ahead and lead off here. And he hits me on the first pitch. <laughs> hey, man, you want to put Kenny Lofton on base, I'm not going to be upset. I'm not sure what he was doing there. Threw a strike, finally. Oh, Ijiro pops it up in the infield. That's not good. All right, well, it happens. Lofton would have. Oh, he's going to get... Oh, he, he bobbles it! We're going to get to second and get the hit out of it. Well, it's not a hit. It's going to be an error, but... All right, man. Carew's up. That's going to drop. That's going to drop. I'm running like it's dropping. Nice, man. We're scoring. I'm scoring Hornsby, too. Look at this, man. We need to stop at third base, though. He's going to end up with a triple, a two RBI triple out of this. I'm not even sure what just happened. Look at this. He drops the fly ball. I'm going to second base. <laughs> Five to nothing. This guy is having an epic collapse right now. We're going to steal third. Easily. 
He tried to mess with me the same way, so I'll do it. I love hitting the knuckleball. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and bring him home. Oh, it, it drops! You got to be kidding me. He didn't catch that one. That's great, man. Six to nothing. All right, come on, Ozzy Smith. All right, that's okay. Hey, man, we got the six run lead now. I'm happy with that. All right, who's he got up? Let's go ahead and go to Lee Smith in the bullpen here for the eighth. At the 0-2 count here to his creative player. Blew the fastball right by him after throwing a few fork balls. Another fork ball here. Got him swinging in the dirt. Strikeout George Brett as well. So Lee Smith comes in and gets two strikeouts so far. Uh, a little pop-up there from Gary Carter on the first pitch, but Tony Gwynn will be able to make the catch for me. Apparently he couldn't catch for him. I'm not sure what was going on last inning, but I'll take it. I <laughs> just ripped a knuckleball again in the gap. Not going to go for two. We'll just let, uh, just let Pudge take the single. That's okay. We're going to let Pudge steal second, though, on the knuckle. <laughs> hey, man, I wouldn't use him if I didn't know that I could hit him when people do it back to me. Oh, he got Tony Gwynn to pop it up there. All right, that makes sense, man. Hey, I'm not going to be mad at you. I got Joe Morgan, one final guy on the bench here for the game. Pudge, able to steal third, perfectly. Oh, he did throw a good one there, man. That one was up high, and I didn't, uh, I didn't see it very well. Ichiro is gonna pull. Oh, what, what is are his fielders doing this game? All right, Ichiro is going to ground out there for the final out. That's all right. We're going to go into the bottom of the ninth inning with a six-run lead, so I'm not uh, not too upset about it. All right. He's got Lofton and Gwynn up as the second and third hitters this inning, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in Chapman just to go ahead and face those two alone. He does bring in Frank Thomas. I'm going to pitch to him. If he gets a home run, it's only 6-1, to one, so... Not that big a deal. O2 count to Frank. <laughs> Strike three. He never even actually sw check swinged every single. Alright. Alright, O2 count to Kenny Lofton. Going to get him to line out here to Ozzie Smith for the second out of the ninth inning. Do that first pitch fastball. Go with the slider there. He's going to ground out to Alomar. Awesome, man. Rod Carew might get player of the game here, I'm thinking. He, no, it's Alomar that gets it. It's a good thing I actually put him in then. I'm glad I did. Um, you know, for Lou Gehrig. I can't believe Alomar got the player of the game, though. He was one for three. He did have four stolen bases. That's probably why. But in my eyes, it's going to have to go to Rod Carew making his debut in this game at three for four with a triple, two RBIs, and a run scored. I mean, you can't ask for a better uh, better kind of debut game from than, uh, than that. Almost a shame he's got to go to the bench. But uh, it's good to have confidence in your bench cards like that. So that's not too bad, man. All right, we're up to 9.52. That's the highest I've been this month. So... Uh, it's not the highest I've been. The highest I've gotten to is actually 1,003 points a few months ago. Uh, but we're at 952 now, so we're only 48 points uh, from completing the road to 1,000 points, which would be awesome. Uh, held that guy to only two hits in the game. I uh, did have 10 myself and win 6 to nothing. Ferrer Ben gets the win. He's 17 and 1 with a 196 ERA for me. It's just kind of funny sometimes. Sorry. Um, let's see what card we get at the end of the game. Nope. Nothing. 
nothing great. All right, well, let's go take a look at the card again real quick, that Rod Carew that we did in this debut video. He played awesome, man. Uh, like I said, 125, 119 contact, 65, 61 power, 123 vision, 125 clutch, which I will say, I think it helped. Um, glad I didn't leave him at second base because I think that would have been a little bit scary um, as opposed to what I'm used to with diamond fielders at second. Uh, glad we moved him over to first base. But 91, 91 speed, he can steal bases as long as he doesn't fall down in between the base paths. So uh, that's always nice. But um, anyway, good uh, good first game for him, man. Three for four with a triple. Uh, like I said, two RBIs. And uh, did strike out the one time, but that, uh, that still wasn't that bad. So will you guys do me a favor? As always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know if any of you guys have taken the Rod Carew card or if you're thinking about it or, uh, you know, uh, if you need some advice on it or something like that. I mean, I'm more than happy to help in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.